Hi, this is Dave from New Mac Equipment. Um, just doing a check on the workhead on a Jones and Chipman 1302. Um, we're just checking the actual spindle. So I'll just start the workhead up. Okay. You can see there's no movement on the dial, or very, very little movement. Move the dial indicator around a little bit. You can see that the, the needle is in contact with the, the taper inside the workhead. Okay, so that sort of proves that the actual spindle is very good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually put the um, the Morse taper adapter into the workhead and then repeat the same process of checking it with the dial indicator. Okay, so now we have the Morse taper adapter in the workhead okay, and the dial indicator is definitely in contact with the, uh, the taper inside the adapter. So if I just move the indicator around, you can see it's definitely in contact and again I can't see any movement whatsoever on the, on the dial so that must be extremely good OK, so now what I've done is put a dead centre into the Morse taper adapter and I can see a little bit of movement on the, on the dial um, but I think um, that could be the dead centre, or maybe inside the Morse taper adapter needs a, a good clean or something. I've tried to clean it, but um, um, I think it sort of proves that the machine's good, but maybe with a brand new live centre, a good quality brand new live centre, um, it could definitely be improved. Okay, and finally, uh, we have the, the ground shaft between centres running on the clock, and the resolution of that clock is 0.00. .00 one millimeters. So you can see that's pretty good. Okay, that's just the last little bit just demonstrating the machine reciprocating and the wheel head or the wing head working. It's on or off. Obviously we'll change the feed rate. Stop it. Oh, there it goes again.